The recent meeting between Chinese President Xi Jinping and Democratic Republic of Congo, President Felix Chisakedi, has once again highlighted the complex dynamics of Sino-Congolese mining relations. The joint statement released following the meeting indicates that the two countries are eager to relaunch their partnership in the mining industry, which is valued at tens of billions of dollars in trade annually. However, underlying tensions and grievances on the Congolese side cast a shadow over this renewed cooperation. While China has been the primary destination for Congo's mineral exports, Chisakedi has expressed dissatisfaction with the perceived lack of benefits his country has gained from the arrangement. The $6.2 billion Minerals for Infrastructure deal signed in 2008, intended to fund infrastructure development through mining proceeds, has fallen short of expectations. Less than a third of the promised funds have been disbursed, leading Congo to request additional funding and a stake increase in the Sycamines venture. Congo's demand for a state-to-state -state agreement rather than dealing solely with Chinese companies reflects the government's desire for greater control over its mineral resources and infrastructure projects. This raises questions about the transparency and accountability of future arrangements. Despite the existing grievances, both countries are engaged in negotiations to address the issues and improve cooperation. However, the article does not provide a comprehensive analysis of the potential outcomes or the steps being taken to address the concerns raised by Chisakedi. The critical commentary could have delved deeper into the specific interests and motivations of both parties, as well as the broader geopolitical implications of their partnership. The meeting between President Xi and President Chisakedi signifies the ongoing complexity of Sino-Congolese mining relations. While the joint statement emphasizes their commitment to cooperation, the unresolved grievances and demands from the Congolese side underscore the need for transparent and equitable agreements that benefit both countries. A more in-depth analysis would have shed light on the potential impacts of the negotiations and the long-term implications for the Congolese mining sector.